This video I'm going to show you how to copy an image from Google and paste it into a drawing and then add some neat word art to it and then insert that into your document. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to just go to Google and make sure that I'm on images and then I'm just going to type in tree or whatever I'm looking for going to search through and find the best tree I can find and I really like that one right there so I'm gonna left click on it and then I'm gonna do a right click copy image go back over to my document now normally you would just do a right click paste but I want to insert this into a drawing first so I'm gonna open up a drawing insert drawing and then once this is open then I'm gonna do a right click paste Sometimes the images don't work, so you may have to try a couple of different images, or some images are huge. This one is very big, so I want to resize it right away. I want to see how big this is. It's still a little too big, so I want to resize a little bit more. And then once I get it to the size I'd like, I can do a couple of things. I can add word art, or I can add another picture. I'm going to add another picture to this one. I really like this purple one. This is a really cool feature. I'm not sure how they did that, but it's a, it's a really cool looking tree. So I'm going to right click, copy image, go back to my drawing, right click, paste. This one again is very big, so I want to resize it right away. It's still too big, so I want to keep making it smaller. It's getting closer. I want to bring this up a little bit. I'll make it a little bit bigger there. You can kind of play around with the size after you put it in as well. So here's my two pictures. They look great. I want to go to Actions, Word Art. I'm just going to type in tree or trees. And I'm going to hit Enter. You will notice the Word Art comes right here. I don't really like that blue color. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to change the color. And I want to go right up here to the paint bucket and I'm going to pick a green color. Now that looks pretty cool. It looks like it pops off the page. So now I want to hit save and close. And there's my picture. What's really cool is if I don't like something about it, I can just simply click on it and go down to edit. And I can edit whatever I just did. I can also click on fix position and it will move all three things together. So again, you just go to your Google, find your picture, insert it in a drawing, and it's a really cool feature. Thank you.